Hello, uh, welcome to our second Spring Summer 21 collection intro. Um, today we're gonna talk about Hoka One One, better known as just Hoka. They're a French running brand. Uh, they've been around for, I think since like 2009. Um, and they became famous among marathon runners, long distance runners for being like crazy comfortable. Um, but since then, everyone has kind of caught on. They're super comfortable for everyday wear. They make tons of options for just like walking, running, all types, all types of running, all types of sports, hiking. Um, and now kind of the fashion world's catching on too, um, cause their stuff is sweet. So uh, we have a kind of smallish collection here, but some really great stuff. So I'll start, this is kind of the highlight and the most applicable for February weather. This is the Kaha Low Gore-Tex. It's designed for hiking, so it's as a super, super comfy, plush midsole. You can see how thick, thick it is. Um, it's 100% waterproof because it's Gore-Tex. So in a, in a shoe, that means like the Gore-Tex membrane is sort of shaped into like a little booty slipper shape. Um, and that is the lining of the shoe essentially. Um, so water will not penetrate into the actual, like where your foot is, the footbed of the shoe. Um, so Kaha Lo, it's made out of Nubuck, uh, super smooth, soft. Uh, Nubuck is like a, a more fine suede essentially, um, generally a higher quality leather than suede. Um, there's some mesh, uh, some like a foam uh, heel pad, rubber toe cap. Uh, the sole is aggressive, it's a Vibram Mega Grip. Uh, if you've never tried Vibram Mega Grip, you will not slip. This shit is crazy. Should I swear? <laughs> slip. This shit is crazy. Should I swear? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, you will not slip. Vibram Mega Grip is amazing. Um, that's kind of it. Amazing shoe. If you want, if you're either a hiker or if you just need shoes that are gonna keep your feet dry, this is it. This is the Bondi 7. Uh, this is the signature shoe of Hoka. This is, I don't know if it's the first shoe, but it's one of the first shoes that they made. Um, and the, one of the shoes that made them famous. So we got white, we got black. I'll show the white, because you can probably see the details a little better. Uh, so really high sole, tons of cushioning. Um, I think these are mostly meant for road running. And they're especially good if you like run up and down hills uh, because of the amount of cushioning you get in your heel on impact. Super plush, really breathable mesh uh, fabric and different, um, I see sort of like a kind of like a rubbery plastic. It's called, they call it TPU. Um, this like laminated material, which adds structural support. Keeps us super, super light. Uh, memory foam uh, heel collar. I think there's also memory foam in the tongue as well, so super comfortable, uh, really nice fit. If you have narrow heels, which is, I know, a problem for a lot of like runners, uh, the memory foam uh, heel cushion is meant to fit kind of any width of heel and it'll adapt to your heel shape. Um, yeah, insanely comfortable. These, you'll see a lot of people wearing these just as like walking shoes as well. These are fantastic. This is the Clifton Edge. This is the sort of wow shoe, I guess, of the collection. Really colorful, as you can tell. Um, so the Clifton is a classic running model from Hoka. This is a new kind of techier version of it. So it has an extended heel. Uh, they have a name for this. I think it's called the Hubble, like the Hubble heel. Uh, and so this is something that Hoka is kind of famous for, especially on hiking shoes. Um, so if you're going downhill, this really uh, reduces the impact of your heel striking the ground. Um, so it makes it, they feel kind of crazy. I'm wearing them right now. Yeah, they're very, very comfortable. One more time. <laughs> Hard to keep my balance. Um, yeah, same as the Bond, I have a mesh, uh, mesh upper, TPU overlays for support. Uh, this sort of extended heel tab, this is, um, serves the same purpose as the little loop here. So easy to grab and take off or pull the shoe on. Um, and then a, like a multi-part sole. So these are all different pieces of EVA foam that are like pressed together. Um, and I'm sure there's some science as to, into the pattern that they, they organized it into. I don't know exactly what that is. But with Hoka, you can generally trust that they do everything for a reason. Um, 
Yeah, this thing is also insanely light. Like all Hoka's are light, but this is like, it weighs almost nothing. Um, oh, another thing I should mention about Hoka, specifically in uh, the running shoes. So with the Bondi and the Clifton Edge, they have uh, this geometry that they call Meta Rocker. So what it means is it has a bit of a rounded shape to the sole so that instead of having like on a flat shoe, like your heel's hitting and then it's slamming down and so you're getting more impact um, like on the heel strike, uh, the Meta Rocker, it, so it'll be extra cushioned in the heel and then it'll roll and then help you push off the toe. So it's sort of easier transfer of energy, easier on your joints, a lot more comfortable to walk and run in. Next up, this is the Hopara sandal. This is my personal favorite. It's sort of like, I don't know, it's like the sandal of the future. This thing is crazy. It's meant for hiking. Uh, it has like a pretty grippy uh, rubber um, outsole. Uh, by Hoka standards, a relatively short uh, midsole. And then uh, this sort of synthetic material um, for the, the kind of all the structural aspects. So this sort of zigzag pattern is in, it kind of feels like faux leather, but it's, it's more of like a, like a, I guess, sort of like a plastic foam. Um, the tongue and uh, the lining of the inside, a lot of that is neoprene, which is the material that wetsuits are made out of. So they're meant to dry really quickly, they're meant to be stretchy, comfortable, form-fitting, uh, and uh, also stay warm when they're wet. So they don't, once they get wet, their insulating properties still remain. Uh, you got a kind of nice, um, secure heel. Uh, this, they have a quick lacing system, so I'll pull it out here. So it's got like a toggle. I can just tighten it like that. And then with the excess lace, you can tuck it under this little tab here. So you can adjust your lacing super quickly. And as you pull it, it'll pull evenly across all of, the, all of these little um, panels. So just, this thing is still insanely comfortable, even though it's less cushioned than some other Hoka shoes. Uh, great art support. This is a great everyday sandal or uh, or a hiking hiking sandal in the summer. These things are great. Also rubber toe cap, same as the uh, the Kaha. Because um, when you're hiking, you're, the toe of your shoe takes a big beating. Um, also good for grip if you're like kind of scrambling up a rock face or something. Uh, now, the last two models, these are from Hoka's recovery line. So they're meant to be shoes that you would wear after really intense activity. So if you ran a marathon and then you, uh, your feet are really tired, and then you just need something super cushioned and comfortable to walk around in afterwards, that's what the recovery line is for. So this is the, uh, the recovery slide. Um, super lightweight, kind of just looks like your standard pool slide, but once you put it on, it's not just a regular pool slide. It has a really cushioned uh, footbed, great arch support, and these little ridges that are in the, uh, in the footbed kind of have like a massaging effect. They're really comfortable. Um, plush high uh, heel and I mean that's kind of all there is to it it's not really a complicated shoe but super lightweight super comfortable excellent for summer or if you're an athlete also good I know a lot of people use the recovery shoes for like house shoes this is the uh, recovery shoe so recovery slide recovery shoe uh, this same general principles as the recovery slide really plush, uh, simple midsole, um, a really cushioned uh, insole, and then really breathable mesh uh, uh, upper. This is a laminated TPU sort of support uh, feature to keep your foot locked in. And then the back heel is neoprene, so that same uh, fabric that's used on the Hopara sandal, this one. Um, the one, the one that they use to make wetsuits. Uh, so this heel is stretchy, you can uh, just pull, pull it out, put your foot in there really easily, or if you just want to slide them on, it actually collapses. So you can just slide into it, which is great. Um, yeah, it's just super simple, clean, kind of futuristic looking, honestly. I really like the way these look, actually. Um, and they go great. They kind of have this like weird futuristic look to them that is sort of reminiscent of like a classic van slip-on or something but I think they look way cooler. And uh, they're also much comfier. So that's about it. 
That's our Hoka Spring Summer 21 collection. Um, yeah, I have nothing else to say. <laughs> See you later.